two of our Good Neighbor of the Year final countdown. Every single person on this stage is doing something extraordinary in their communities, um, and the impact is incredible. Thank you again. Um, and that includes Nancy, the founder of Forgotten Harvest in Detroit. We met her thanks to WXYZ 7 Action News anchor Cl Carolyn Clifford. Sorry, tongue tied. Here's a little reminder. Forgotten Harvest is such a wonderful, wonderful nonprofit in our community. I think last year mm -hmm. they fed one million people in our community. That's a lot, a lot of people. And you know, they rescued like 42 million pounds mm -hmm. of food last year. Meaning, yes. <laughs> Rescuing, meaning it didn't go to waste. Right. Meaning they went to grocery stores and restaurants and got the food that would have gone in the trash and brought it back to our community. Nancy, you came up with this after experiencing your own food insecurity, right? I did. Yeah. I was a young mother, divorced, and I was struggling to feed us. And it was a very uh, painful, humiliating, and frightening experience standing in line mm -hmm. waiting for food assistance. And at that moment, I thought to myself, if I ever got out of that situation, someday I would go back and help the other people yeah. who I was standing in line with. And then years later, when I had more than two pair of shoes in my closet, and I was raising three children, it was time to fulfill the promise to myself. It's an incredible thing you're doing. I just want to applaud you. Yay! Yeah. So, Lorna, explain more about how Forgotten Harvest works. Well, from the time food is harvested to gets to your refrigerator, 40% of that food is wasted. Mm -hmm. And so that's like 70 billion pounds a year in this country that nice. goes to waste. So Forgotten Harvest collects that food, brings it back to the warehouse, repacks it and gets it to our pantry partners and our mobile pantry units, all for free. Mm -hmm. We have 50 trucks, we also have a farm. This is a 78,000 square foot facility, 20,000 volunteers since 2021, and they are packaging up, processing 178,000 pounds of food on a daily basis. I found Forgotten Harvest because I needed food, but what I found was a family. You in Forgotten Harvest, you all saved my lives, and I know that you are saving the lives of so many in the community, and I just want to say a great big thank you, Nancy. You are amazing, and I love you. All right, so Nancy, what's been up since we've seen you? Well, thank you so much for this opportunity and for the funds we received. Mm -hmm. We are doing amazing things. We were able to use those funds to purchase $750,000 worth of groceries that provided 40,000 meals to wow. our neighbors in need in Detroit. And right now, the in we have a 30% increase in the need in the city of Detroit and the surrounding area. And it really came in handy. And these amazing, amazing things happen. We got so many calls, so much feedback from the community. And at one point, we even got, we got all kinds of small donations that came in. Mm -hmm. But we also got a $20,000 anonymous donation that helped us feed thousands and thousands of people. It was amazing. It was a wonderful gift. That's incredible. So do you, sometimes those, it, it's overwhelming to me, like emotionally, like to hear that. And it's like, it feels like it's hopeless. Like, do you just focus on, is that how, I, I feel like that's how y'all all thrive, is you focus on what you can do in your community, which is so beautiful if everyone did that in their, in their communities. But is, how do you not lose hope in that? You know what I'm saying? You started so young thinking like, oh, I'm going to eradicate this. We're going we're gonna to fix this. And it's still such a big issue. Like, how do you deal with that? You know, um, I can never give it up. You know, yeah. I'm never going to lose hope. And like once in a while, I'll be at one of the soup kitchens and Forgotten Harvest is able to have a birthday cake for a child who's never had one in their life. Mm -hmm. And I see the way this little child's face is glowing and the hope, the, the promise that that all serves up for a kid like that. And it just, you know, it just keeps me going. It keeps us all going. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you for sharing. Well, remind everybody why you feel like y'all, you know, could use the boost. It would be an acknowledgement for the community of Detroit uh, that we are, you know, that we're doing something good, something positive that keeps yeah. us, you know, really committed to mm -hmm. the mission. Absolutely. And just a shout out to all the volunteers that work with all of y'all. That's incredible to volunteer. If you don't have the money, 
like volunteer your time.